All right, let's go. Boop. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn, dude. Ugh. I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can- Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Damn, dude. Um, listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Um No, I'm going to wait on this. Let's I think we still need to look around the office earlier. I wonder if we can still do that. Let's poke around a little bit. Yeah, my guy's trying so hard, dude. Oh. Oh. Bummer. That's that's our boy from earlier. Well, that's the artist from earlier, I should say. Ivanov says, NIT! President Warren's? That's not who I think it is, is it? Because that'd be hilarious. Uh, anyway. Can I get him donuts? Oh, can I get him donuts? Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. <laughs> Just walks over and slams his head into the wall. <laughs> Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. Modeler. 
RK-800. So I'm a prototype. Right there. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Refuse. Refuse. Get a move on! Refuse. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> if Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way, because next time, you won't get off so easy. When the revolution comes, he's the first to go. Yeah. Okay. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed hmm. for several years now, Public this would be opinion. the first case of an android being authorized to play an actor. Okay, let me get this straight. There's donuts right there. There's two boxes of donuts there. There's a box of donuts on that wall. And there's a box of donuts right there. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published. And to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Designed by Cyberlife, the AI known as Voltaire analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithm... An AI novel by novel. someone named Voltaire? According to several specialists, okay, that's pretty it's funny. very difficult for human authors to compete with this algorithm. Uh, anything else in here? And no. the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artists. Let's analyze the DVNC files before we go and talk to the Deviant. Maybe that'll give us more uh, conversation options. Hey, Herbalist Prime. How you doing today, bud? Oh, we can ask him about all this stuff? Uh, dog. You have a dog. Right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Oh. Call him Sumo. I really kind of hoped that he went, Well, what's it to you is an interesting name for a dog. What do you call it by its first name? <laughs> uh, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh. We couldn't have known that. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? <laughs> I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> One. Hi, honey. You okay? Listen, I told you not to call me this number. Good talk. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? <laughs> I 
but I'm not making physical contact with your testicles. I'm confused. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Oh, okay, there we go. Hmm. A disappearance. Plaintiff reports when he left his android at home as usual, when he went to work, when he returned, the android was nowhere to be found, no trace of a break-in in the apartment, the android may have left home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500, 821 model android, working as a waiter. Uh, the plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and atten attempted to strangle him. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Oh my. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Scan all files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. We can go talk to the BB, right? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not right? your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. I gotta say... Things are gonna get nasty. Some of these options are not what I intended. And it's, it, like, it's happening more and more. I did not think that I was gonna be a dick to this dude by selecting that. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been cited in the Ravendale district. Yeah, we're just rolling with it. I'm oh, for it. sure. Now, like I said at the beginning, we're just going beginning to end on this game. We're just taking every option we get. We're taking our comeuppance. We're just going to see what happens. Oh, we didn't even get... Well, hold on. Interesting, Hank could have not gotten a lead from the looks of it. We didn't get to talk to the other android, but or we didn't get to talk to the 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 dude, but it doesn't it doesn't really look like we missed much. So, I don't know what's going on with that. 98% of people got a lead. So, I guess there was a way to not get a lead. 99% of my friends... Man, how does that even work? I wonder what this bottom option was. Hmm. Hmm. 1% of people got that bottom option. Hey, Kripalis. Good to see you, bud. Hey, Schrodinger. Check on Alice. Doll. Okay, let's get the fire going again. Well, the good news is we survived the night. That's a plus. Ralph didn't kill us. Yay! Small victories.
Oh, he's not here. Oh. Uh. Uh-oh. Oh. Urban far- He was a farmer of some kind? Like a planter? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, there's a deer head in the sink. Eh. Normal American household. Let's see if we can find. Oh, what's this? Oh, I want to play games. What's this? Cyber wildlife. Huh. Canada is an android free zone. Interesting. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision whether to permit androids in the country. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy at contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for, for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, can we take the wire cutters, or is that the magazine? Yeah, it's the magazine. Okay, uh, the wood is right there, but I'm going to look upstairs again. I want to see... Oh. Oh. Find new clothes. Oh, interesting. Let's do this. Okay, now we should be able to go upstairs. Maybe we can find new clothes now. What's that in the corner? Huh. Like, I don't know what that is. Ow. Ow. Hmm. Casually take my gun out. Is the gun gone? Nope, there it is. Oh, I wonder if we could have forgotten to pick it up. That would have been interesting. If something happens later and we need to use the gun, just remember we could have forgotten it here. The game definitely gave us the option to forget it. Okay. I still want to see if we can figure out what's in that bathtub. Karatsi, one of the viewers in the channel, nailed. Like, I just walked through here. But he actually noticed that there's definitely a hand sticking out of that bathtub. Yep. I think that's a corpse. You can kind of see it through the uh, side there. I'm pretty sure that's a corpse. Yep. All 
All right, so when we go downstairs, I think Alice is probably gonna wake up. Yeah, that would smell to high heaven, I know, right? Oh my god. That would be terrible. Oh wow, there's more we have to do. Okay. What else do we have to do? Oh, cut my hair. Um, maybe we can do that in the bathroom? I don't remember seeing any scissors there. Let's take a look again, though. These environments look incredible, man. Like, look at the detailing on the roof. My god, dude. These environments really are impressive. Uh, here. Here we go. Ah, perfect. How convenient. Does android hair grow? No, it couldn't, right? So, I mean, don't mess up your haircut or you're screwed. Not really feeling the pixie cut on her. Uh, let's go with blonde. Oh, okay. Um... Wait, I can have white hair? Well, that looks pretty good. How'd you look with black hair? Kind of like the white hair. Let's go with white hair, because that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that. She's doing it too. Oh, shit. Welcome to the world, Kara. Oh, 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 oh. If we go down there and Ralph is there. All right. That's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, oh, well shit. let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Yeah, good thing we didn't rob that place, dude. Although, we are on the security cameras because we went in there. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Ew. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> Is that thing dead? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> Great. You'll see. Succulent. Succulent. 
actually. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> This is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. Okay. That's... That's... Not right. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Um. Um. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. This guy sounds exactly like her dad. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another oh, android shit. is here. Shit. Damn it, dude. So it did ma it did matter. So wait, wait, if I just stay here for the next hour, that'll give them plenty of time to escape. Oh, that's not how it works? Oh. Well, shit. Maybe in Detroit Become Human 2. Or Detroit become too human. Okay. Uh, let's see what's in here. If you actually use that for the next game, I'm I'm copywriting that for the record, devs. If you actually do Detroit become the number two human for your next game, that's mine. I'm claiming that now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm also trademarking Detroit Too Human Too Fast with twos. Thank you, Dark Eden. Okay. All right. Um, let's go. Okay, this was not expected. Um... I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Hmm. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Okay, to be fair, Ralph is being pretty awesome right now. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Signs of software instability. Uh, it's a gardener. 
Can I not scan the damage? Okay, there we go. Burn mark. Extreme heat. Mm. Oh, look at that! 